Today, I'm gonna be playing in a build challenge against my friend Mongo, except he has no idea that I'm gonna be cheating with the drawing mod that lets me draw anything I want and then turn it into real life. But quick, let's go tell Mongo that we're ready so we can get to drawing. Hey there, Mongo. Hey, Wudo. I'm so excited for the build challenge. When are we going to start? We're going to start right now. The first thing we're going to build is a zoo. Whoa, my zoo is going to be massive. I'm going to have so many animals, Wudo. Good luck. <laughs> In your dreams, Mongo. My animals are going to be bigger and cooler. See you in five minutes. Now that Mongo's distracted with the normal old building, we can get started with the super cool drawing. And we're not going to have to touch a single build today because whatever I draw right now for this zoo is literally going to come to life. I think the most important thing we need to draw for this to happen is to draw a giant animal. Because what other other things would you see inside of a zoo? I think one of my favorite animals is really, really tall and yellow, which you basically pretty much find in almost every single zoo ever. Can you guys guess what it is? It is going to be pretty hard to guess, but I'm going to be really surprised if some people comment what it is right now. Let's see. It has its two very tall legs. It has a very tall neck just like this and then it has a cute little face on the very top which likes to eat a lot of big leaves on the very very tippy tops of trees let's just close it in on the top just like this and then what we can do is we can also draw its mane because it does have a tad bit of a mane on its back so let me just draw in the hair just like this does anyone know what it is is yet i'm gonna say it very very soon let's finish coloring in that mane all the way to the tippy top just like this and then we can draw its tail now the very last thing that we need to do is we need to draw its spots because it is a little bit spotty let's see do you know what it finally is because i'm gonna say it it's a giraffe giraffe are one of the funniest and cutest looking animals ever and check it out this giraffe is super duper happy to be drawn because it is super excited to be inside the wudo zoo but now that i have this super awesome giraffe all drawn in we still need one more thing to make this zoo official and i think i know exactly what it is we need a big sign so let me just make some big Big sticks right over here and we're gonna build a nice big sign right on top of the giraffe that says zoo so that the game knows that every animal inside of this area will be a part of Wudo's big massive zoo let me just get my letters just like this and we can spell zoo with the letter z just like that and then we can finish it off with the two letters after it an o and then another o now there's double o's to make this the coolest zoo ever now that that's all drawn we still need one thing to show that this is a zoo of course and that is the the terrain. A zoo has all sorts of different types of areas where animals can be and a giraffe likes to be in a very grassy environment. So I'm going to fill in all this grass down here and then I'm going to have little sprouts of it coming out the ground just like this. I might as well also make a little tree just to show how much these giraffes love to eat leaves. So I'm just going to build a very simple looking tree with its big trunk right over here and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put all the little green stuff that the giraffe likes to eat oh 
Aw, check that out. This giraffe absolutely loves eating leaves. And it's going to be so excited to be inside of my Wudo Zoo. But now, check it out. We have the entire zoo where my giraffe will be playing. And I think the last thing that we need to draw inside of my drawing to make it official is to fill in the sky with the beautiful blue color to make sure that the game knows that I want it to be a beautiful day every day inside my amazing zoo. Hey, Mongo, I forgot to ask, what's your favorite animal at a zoo? Wudo, my favorite animal is a lion. A lion? Whoa, a lion sounds sick. Thanks for the idea, Mongo. There's definitely going to be a great big lion inside of the Wudo Zoo. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my gosh, if we draw the animals that Mongo likes inside of our zoo, he is totally going to give us bonus points. Anyways, I'm pretty much almost done drawing the sky here. And now that I'm done just like this, I think it's time to finally spawn in our zoo. And all I need to do to do it is to click off of this painting and the game will spawn it in. So let's do that in three. Three, two, one, and whoa, check it out, guys. Our drawing looks amazing, but what looks even better is what just spawned in in front of me. Check out this massive zoo build. Oh my gosh, not only does it even have a parking lot, but it has a check in counter and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different areas where we can build zoo exhibits oh my gosh this is going to be one of the greatest builds ever and hold on a second i think we already have a visitor inside our first little zoo visiting area but wait a second i recognize that one let's go down there and see what's going on come one come on to axie's amazing zoo hold on a second See, what are you doing down here, silly? You're not a zoo animal. You're a talking axolotl and mine and Mongo's friend. Well, I was eating cake at home, but then something summoned me here. Maybe they thought I was an animal. Oh, gosh. Maybe the Minecraft game did think you were an animal. But don't worry, Axie. We're not here to make you an exhibit. We're here to build the coolest zoo we can. So come on. Now that we're at the zoo, I think we need to work on our very first enclosures. And it's not going to be this muddy axolotl one. Aww. Why are we building a zoo anyway? Because because, Axie, I'm in a build challenge against Mongo, where I need to build the best zoo in this first round. But come on, there's no time for that. What we need to do is make this first enclosure. And I think I know exactly what I want to theme it as. I want to make it a turtle enclosure. But, what all the sciences you have to feed the giraffes. Wait, what? This is not a giraffe feeding area. This is going to be a turtle feeding area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this grass with a bunch of sand to simulate the beach. Oh, the sand feels crunchy under my toes, though. I don't like it. Don't worry, Axie. I have just the solution for you. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove some of the sand in the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace it with water to basically look like the beach. Oh, nice. This is much better. There you go, Axie. Now that we have a nice little beach all set up, I think we also need some beach things to make these turtles feel at home. Let's see. What do turtles love about the beach? They like to perch up on nice big sandy areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some sandstone blocks so that I can build little areas where they can feel like kings. Check this out, Axie. They're just just like little resting areas. I think what turtles like more is cookies and pranks. 
Cookies? Are you serious? Oh yeah, I forgot. Turtles love to eat cookies, but they also like to eat other sea things like kelp and stuff. But to be honest, kelp is kind of boring and lame. Who likes to eat that green stuff anyways? I like to eat that green stuff. Wait, what? I thought you only eat cake, Axie. Are you finally telling us the truth? Well, cake is the best human thing, but of course I eat all the water stuff too. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Well, in that case, I better get some seagrass and start putting the seagrass all down here under the water to make sure that the turtles have plenty of seagrass that they can munch on while we build. Don't worry, Woodle. I'll also put some cake in the water. Hopefully, it doesn't get too soggy. Oh, gosh. Are you kidding, Axie? I don't know if adding cakes in the water is a good idea, but maybe it can be a sweet treat for these turtles. Yeah, they'll definitely like it. All right. Now that we have those cakes put in the water, we still need some stuff to put over here. And I think we need to add some beach grass. Has a little way that these turtles can go and hide against predators if they want to. What kind of predators are going to be in here? Well, there's going to be a big one and his name's going to be Mongo when he steps on this park and starts causing havoc. So we better build these little areas to protect my turtles. As you can see, I'm using this really, really tall beach grass, which will make it hard for any of those predators to see the turtles while they're hiding. See? Whoa, I can very Exactly, Axie. But I think we also need some other natural forms as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some palm trees. Palm trees? Why palm trees? Because palm trees are super duper awesome. They basically look like a tropical oasis. So I'm going to place a couple of them right over here to really fit the vibe of this turtle habitat. That makes sense, Woodle. Keep putting the palm trees down. All right, Axie, here we go. I'm going to put one more palm tree right over here and check it out. Our first exhibit is already already looking super duper awesome for these turtles, but I think it's still missing something else. We need to make an area where they can go and lay their eggs because after all, turtles lay eggs so that they can have more turtle babies. So I'm going to put a bunch of turtle eggs right over here where all the turtle mamas can take care of them. You are? Wait, how do you know which ones are the mamas? Well, that's not my problem, silly. They'll figure it out on their own. Anyways, now that that's all done, I think we should add a couple more decorations to really make this beach look just like a real life beach that these turtles have come to love. And I think I know exactly the thing that I need to make it happen. Let me just go over here to this mod and I'm going to grab a bunch of different cool things. Let's get these deck chairs and stuff like that. Ooh, I can't forget about an umbrella. I hope we have an umbrella because that would be a really cool thing. I'll get some beach drinks for them and some coconuts. And I think this is perfect to sum things up. Let me put down all these shells over here. And then what I can do is I can go and throw down those coconuts. Do you like coconuts, Axie? Yeah, they're all right, I guess. Except when they bonk me on the head. Yeah, I have a feeling that you got bonked one too many times on your head with coconuts, Axie. <laughs> hey, what is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Anyways, now that I placed down all these delicious coconuts, I can also put down some sandcastles because I'm sure the turtles absolutely love to play with how amazing these sandcastles look. Don't they look super cool, Axie? Yeah, they do. All right. Well, now that I have a bunch of those placed down, I should probably throw in a couple messages in a bottle. Have you ever gotten a message in a bottle, Axie? Uh, I don't know. What kind of people send messages in bottles? I think they're called bottle message people. It's kind of scary. Uh, 
It's like they're plotting some conspiracy. Exactly, Axie. But don't worry. The only thing that we'll need to worry about is how to drink these delicious strawberry drinks that we're going to enjoy on this beach. Strawberries! I mean, they're not as good as the fruit cake, but still pretty good. Axie, cake is not a fruit, silly. Oh my gosh. Well, let me just place down these last few pieces of grass and oh my gosh, Axie, check out this amazing turtle exhibit. It came out looking so, so good. And the best part is you can come all the way at the top over here and feed all the turtles cookies. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Let me just grab a chest real quick and make sure that there is always a healthy supply of cookies right over here that all the guests in our zoo can feed the turtles with. And then I can get rid of this sign that says feed the giraffes. And instead, I can change the sign to say feed turtles. Let's go, Axie. Isn't that so cool? Yeah. I think your enclosure is almost as cool as mine. Wait, what? I was wondering where you were just hiding Axie and oh my gosh. Did you just make a pig enclosure? Yeah, I bet you can't find me. Um, Axie, I can find you because you're wearing a pig head on top of your head. Hee <laughs> hee. That wasn't a real pig. Wait, give that pig hat to me, Axie. I want to see how I look as a little piggy. Ready? Three, two, one. Wudo has now transformed from turtle to pig. Oink, 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 oink. Wudo, I need you to follow me. Oink, 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 oink. Follow Axie for carrots. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> That's so funny. You're not a pig, silly. I know, Axie. Your pig pen actually doesn't look too bad. This looks like the perfect place for them to hang out. You should probably just remember to give them some water. They can't just eat mud all day, silly. They don't need water. I mean, they haven't even told me they want water. Oh my gosh, Axie. That's because they probably haven't realized they need it yet. Pigs are kind of dumb sometimes like that. Oh, so they're kind of like turtles and humans. Wait, what? That's not true. They're kind of like axolotls then. What? But axolotls are the smartest creatures on the planet. Well, in that case, maybe we should go over here and build two pens side by side. I think what we should do next is we should build a lush cave type environment so that we can add some axolotls, but then also add another animal that coexists with axolotls. And do you know what that animal is? Oh, I don't know, Wudo. I think we can put you with some jungle animals, like some pandas and parrots. I don't really think any of those live in the same places, but it still sounds like a good plan. Don't worry, Axie. You'll definitely love them. All I need to do is just go over here and select these blocks, and I need to set the biome of these blocks into the jungle biome. There you go. Now we can start building and pretending as if this were a jungle. So let me just get some jungle saplings and then also grab some bone meal just like this. And I'm going to start getting these bad boys going. Check it out, Axie. These trees that belong in jungles are so massive. Whoa, they're like 10 million times your size, Wudo. If they're 10 million times my size, then they're 10 billion times your size, Axie. Come on, why don't you start working on the lush cave part? Because I'm going to start putting down some bamboo for all of these pandas. Okay, should it be an actual cave or just part of the enclosure? I think it should be part of the enclosure, Axie. And ooh, look at all these bamboo blocks I found. These are going to be perfect for the habitat. Now what I can do is I can plant this bamboo over here and I can make a bamboo forest. A bamboo forest? That sounds tasty. I know. Pandas actually love eating bamboo, Axie, but I don't know how healthy it's going to be for you. Remember, you're an axolotl, silly, not a panda. Oh, yeah. 
I forgot. All right, let me just finish placing down this bamboo. And basically what we're going to do to make this bamboo grow is I'm going to use a special block called bone meal. All I need to do is take this bone meal, which basically works like fertilizer and right click the bamboo to make it grow super duper tall. Check that out, Axie. Isn't that super duper cool? Yeah. Whoa, this one's like 10 million billion times your height. I know, Axie. I wonder how high you can make bamboo grow. It's almost like it's infinite growth. Isn't that kind of crazy? Probably at least like three feet. Definitely way more than three feet, Axie. Let me just finish bone mealing all the bamboo in the back over here. There we go. Now I think I've pretty much finished right clicking all this amazing bamboo and hold on a second let me just back up here and whoa this actually looks like a jungle axie doesn't this look so cool whoa it does look really cool are you gonna spawn the animals in now not yet axie before i spawn in these pandas i want to make sure they have a little bit of a home first so what better thing to do than make them a little eating area because they love eating their bamboo all the time but i never see them enjoying it peacefully so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to make a big Big bamboo table and benches because those pandas are pretty fat and I don't want them breaking just a single chair so this should be good now what I can do is I can give them a nice big clock over here and maybe I can give them a door except they don't really need any door because they already live outside let me just go search bamboo and whoa look I can put down some bamboo mats some bamboo thatch over here here. There's even other bamboo tables. These look super duper awesome. So how about I just place a couple of these all over? Let me just add some bamboo crates so that they can store all their bamboo inside of here just like this. I'll even add some bamboo barrels over here so that during the winter times, they still have plenty of bamboo to eat. Now what I can do is I can give them a little area where they can enjoy having some water because after all pandas just like every animal need to drink some water so let me just make this covered area using this bamboo thatch and now i can grab a bucket of water and place the water right underneath it just like this this will be their water drinking area because just like how i said pandas love to drink water they do i love to drink water too me too too, Axie. Drinking water is really, really important, so everyone make sure that you're drinking your water. Anyways, now that that's all done, I'm gonna add a little pool area over here where the pandas can all swim together. Did you know that pandas can actually swim, Axie? No, they can't, Wudo. Oh, wait. Actually, I have no idea, but I think they can swim. After all, they do have big bellies that they can use to float. Hee <laughs> hee. That's so weird. Don't worry, Axie. It's all natural. That's why they're pandas after all. Now, let me just place this bamboo matting over here like this so that they can keep their feet all nice and dry after they come out of their pool time. And check this out, Axie. I think that my panda exhibit is pretty much all done. What about your exhibit? Uh, it's taking a while. Oh my god. Gosh, Axie, because you're making it super duper mega fancy. Come on, they're just axolotls. I'm sure they're fine with anything. What do you mean they're just axolotls? It's my family. Oh, I was just messing with you, Axie. Because axolotls are your family, I love axolotls. So come on, how about on this corner over here, I start building a mini cave where your axolotl friends can come in and get shade whenever they want and if they feel threatened because of a predator they can also come in here and make sure that nothing comes and eats them like mongo like like mongo you think mongo's gonna come eat them i think mongo's hungry for an axolotl dinner gulp ah, that's so 
was scary. Exactly, Axie. And we better hurry. Time's running out. And I know Mongo's just ready to come to my zoo to try and eat some of the animals. But don't worry. Luckily, that's why we have zoo security. Security? Do we really have that? Um, no, we don't. But don't worry. I'm sure your axolotls will still be a-okay, Axie. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put vines all around this cave and then I'm gonna grab some stone slabs. They're like little sleeping areas where your axolotl friends can chill. Oh, that sounds nice. I'm gonna start spawning them in. All right, Axie, you go ahead and do that. I'm so excited to see your axolotl friends in Aw, they look so cute. They come in all sorts of colors. There's blue ones and yellow ones and brown ones and even a pink one. That looks just like you, Axie. They're so slow out of water. Come on, go. While Axie tries to get her family in the water, I'm going to go over here and start spawning in my pandas. Because after all, they need to live in their environment too. I'll even give them a nice little little welcome plushie as a present. Now that that's all done, here come the pandas. And oh my gosh, little panda babies. And the panda babies look so cute. This one is sticking its tongue out and dancing. Whoa. Hey, get out of the axolotl area, intruder. Hey, Axie, remember, they're coexisting together inside of this jungle area. See? Oh my gosh, look, this little baby panda's not feeling too well. Look at its face, Axie. It's kind of sick. I don't care about its face. Face. I only care about my axolotls, and I think you should too. Axie, that's so mean. The pandas and axolotls are friends. See, let me just put down an axolotl plushie and a panda plushie. You see how they're friends? Yeah, I guess so, Rudolph. I'll try to be nice to the pandas too. See, the pandas are really nice. They haven't even been bothering the axolotls, and they've been still staying on their own side. See, everyone loves being an animal here at the Wudo Zoo. But now that we have these two pens all figured out, Axie, I think it's time for us to add a couple more quick ones. But we seriously got to move fast. Otherwise, we're going to run out of time. The first thing we need to do is we need to get an icy area. So I'm quickly just going to go here and place down a bunch of snow and ice so that we can put down some polar bears. Axie, can you please place those down right now? Yeah, can we also have snowmen? Sure, we can have snowmen. Let me just go and get those polar bears. And whoa, these polar bears look super duper scary. Yeah, they look like they could eat me in one bite. Don't worry though, Axie. We're also going to put down a bunch of snow golems to make sure they're nice and protected. See, they love snow golems. Aw, these are like my favorite animal. Uh, they are an animal, right? Of course they are. Um, kind of, I guess. But don't worry, Axie. Come on. We need to speed run these last couple pens. What do you think we should do for this one over here? I think I have an idea. We should put humans. What? Humans? That's a little bit scary. I think what we should do instead is we should make a mushroom environment for mushrooms, silly. Okay, but while you do that, I'm going to make this area. Okay, Axie, you go ahead and do that. Let me just look over here and see. There's a specific type of block that the mushrooms like to exist on, and it's called mycelium, which is what we're going to use to build this tiny little house habitat let me just select these blocks over here set them to the ground just like this and now what i can do is i can grab some big mushrooms just like this and other crazy cool mushroom decorations and then i can place them all right down over here with the mushrooms let me also get some bone meal just like this and now let's put down those mushrooms whoa 
These mushrooms are super duper gigantic, which is perfect because these mushrooms love to live with these giant mushrooms. We can even put down little tiny mushrooms as well. Look at how cute those things look. Anyways, let me just spam these mushrooms all around here and then keep right clicking them and voila! We have a bunch of different mushrooms for all the mushrooms to enjoy right over here on my habitat. Now what I can do is add some little mushroom decorations, add the skeleton which makes it look super duper spooky and now what I can finally do is I can build a little platform right over here where all the mushrooms are going to hang out and go moo. So let me just set this block just like this over here. And now I can just go ahead and right on this platform, I can place those mushroom spawn eggs. Check this out, Axie. There are a ton of mushrooms over here. Whoa, one second. I'm spawning in dolphins. Wait, what? You're working on dolphins? Let me see the dolphins, Axie, and oh, wow! The dolphin exhibit looks so amazing. I love how these dolphins look. And wait, did you make a chicken environment over here? Yeah, I put wool down because it's soft and fluffy, like the chickens. Oh my gosh, Axie. Well, in that case, I would say our zoo is pretty much finished. We don't need to worry about these exhibits. We can just say they're closed for now, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different exhibits that Mongo can go to. I know Mongo definitely doesn't have that many exhibits, so are you ready to go and check out his build? Yeah, let's go. All right, Mongo, the time is up. Actually, Wudo, I want to keep the animals company while you're gone so they don't get lonely. Oh, okay, Axie. You can take care of them. I'll just go see Mongo's garbage build for myself. Oh, hey, Mongo. Hey, Wudo. Are you ready to see my build? It's so awesome. Let's go over here and whoa, check this out. Mongo, where did you get these realistic animals? Is that a giraffe? Yeah, Wudo, this is the tallest giraffe in Minecraft. Then we have some scary mountain lions over here. Over here in this corner, we have some deers. As soon as you break the top, fence they run around look at this it's so funny oh my gosh they're trying to escape and then you have bears and zebras and whoa are those snakes yeah Wudo, come on open this door um no it's okay mongo i'm not really interested and oh gosh the snakes are getting loose um you know what mongo i don't know if i want to be at your zoo anymore if you have slithering snakes on the loose how about we just go look at my zoo which is 10 times better no Wudo, you need to give my zoo a score before we look at yours okay fine i'll give it like a five out of ten but come on Come on down to Wudo Zoo right over here. Let me just get you a ticket. Wait a second, Wudo. Why is there an awesome painting of your zoo over here? Oh, uh, Mongo, that is just uh, uh, some fan art. A viewer drew that for me, okay? Quick, everyone say in the comments that you drew this for Mongo. Whoa, fan art. I wish I could get fan art, Wudo. Come on, let's see your zoo. All right, Mongo. Phew, that was close. Just come on down over here. This is where you're going to get a ticket, but I'll let you in for free because you're my friend. Wait a second, Wudo. You really built this entire zoo in only five minutes? How is that even possible? Yep, let's go through the different exhibits, Mongo. Come on down here to the turtle exhibit where Axie's hanging out. Hey, Axie. Hi. Hey, Wudo, I'm just enjoying this amazing exhibit. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, Axie. You can feed the turtles over here at this exhibit. Remember? Oh, yeah. Turtles, eat some cookies. Don't you love this turtle exhibit, Mongo? It looks super cool. And wow, some zebras even joined the turtles. Yeah, but I think it's missing one animal, and that's the snakes. What? No, snakes are a predator, Mongo. We can't have snakes here. Get rid of them. And 
find some lions. But well, they can all coexist, right? Um, no, zoos are not meant to handle predators and non-predators in the same environment, you guys. Oh, gosh, Mongo. Well, look, there's a bunch of other exhibits over here, too, that me and Axie built all ourselves. So, what do you give our zoo in a score? Well, Muro, I'm a little suspicious on why it's so big, but I guess it's pretty cool. So, I'll give you a score of 8 out of 10. Wait, what? 8 out of 10? Mongo, come over here, though. Come to the panda's face and tell the panda that he's only worth an 8 out of 10. You know this panda is worth a 10 out of 10. Well, I'm looking at the bear over here, so it's an 8 out of 10. Wait, what? Can bears and pandas exist together? Oh, gosh, this is bad. Um, Mongo, you're going to be banned from my zoo now. You're kind of ruining all the animal exhibits. Yeah, whatever, Wudo. You just got lucky that you won this round. Well, guess what, Mongo? I know I'm going to beat you in the next round because in the next round, the first thing we're going to build is a tank, Mongo. Whoa, a tank? My one is going to be able to take down your side in two seconds, Wudo. Ha, you think so, Mongo? In your dreams. Anyways, Axie, come on. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a massive tank over here. It's definitely a really big change from the giant zoo we were just building where we had a lot of happy animals. But don't worry. This is going to be our revenge for Mongo trying to destroy our zoo. Right, Axie? Uh, yeah. Let's blow him up. Exactly. So come on. What we're going to do is we're going to have to start building the wheels of the tank first. As you can see, tanks run on a track. So I'm going to need to draw the track right over here for the tank to actually go on. And then what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to draw the wheels that the tank actually runs on as well. Even though it doesn't look like it, tanks still have wheels. They do, but the whole thing is a wheel. Um, Axie, no, it's not. What are you talking about? Only the bottom part is an actual wheel. So let me just draw one here. Here, and then draw another on the edge just like this and check this out guys I have three nice big wheels for our giant mega tank now that I have that all drawn in though it's time for me to also draw the top part of the tank because that's the most important part of the tank after all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this dark green color and I'm gonna build the top of the tank going right over here. This is where those people inside the tank control the tank from to make sure that they can see everything from the outside. Can you just draw me on top of the tank? Oh, yeah, that would be a pretty cool idea. But let me make the blaster over here that blasts the projectiles. And then I can put A over here, which stands for Axie inside of this tank. <laughs> and now that I have that drawn in, I can make the little people that Axie is going to be looking from. So let me just draw her pink little face in here. And you can't really see her because she's so small. So I'm just going to put two black dots to look like her face. Aww. Hey, draw me in more detail. Okay, I'm sorry, Axie. There you go. I drew your little axolotl fin thingies. Does that look like you now? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Yay, there we go, Axie. Now all I need to do is I need to draw the dirt track that tanks usually drive on. Tanks are usually really good during wars, so this will be perfect. So this will be the perfect terrain that a tank can walk on. Now I can just put little bits of grass, and then of course I can put the nice big sun on the top right corner to show that the tank is outside side and ready for battle all right axie i think my drawing is done so are you ready to spawn it in yeah do it do it do it let's spawn it in in three two one 
And whoa, check it out, Axie. The tank spawned in. And this thing is gigantic. Pluto, this guy in the tank doesn't look like me or you. Oh, gosh, you're right, Axie. Even though this tank looks really sick with all the different stuff it has, it still isn't correct because it's missing me in the front. So quick, Axie, we better fix this. Otherwise, Mongo's gonna say that we're cheating. Okay, well, did he make it me or you? We're gonna make it my head, Axie. And making my face is pretty easy. All I need to do is grab some black wool, some white wool, some pink wool, and some red wool. And that should be pretty much it. Now what I can do is I can put this wool right over here and then put the black wool all around it just like this. And now I have my cute turtle eyes. And now what I can do is I can go in and add my turtle mouth just like this. And oh my gosh, it turned into Wudo. You're a little naked though. So let me fix that real quick. Yeah, you're right, Axie. Let me just put my turtle hat on top of myself just like this to make myself not look super duper bald and hairless because, guys, I'm not bald, okay? I do have hair. Now that that is all finished, though, I should be able to select these blocks and turn it into my turtle hat. But now I look like I have an army hat on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, Woodo, it might be the best you can do. Well, I have to say, Axie, I think this tank is pretty much finished. Maybe the very last thing I can do is quickly just write my name on it so Mongo knows that it's mine. Let me just put this big W over here just like this, and then the U that's in my name just like this, and then a big D, and lastly, a big O to show that this is the ultimate Mongo destroy. <laughs> Why don't we just blast on the wall and then attack Mongo? Oh, yeah, you're right. And then we can't pretend like it was the tank that done it. That is such a good idea, Axie. Come on, take this bazooka. This is what we're going to use to blast down that wall. Okay, Wudo, I'm gonna go in three, two, one. Oh. Attack! Come on, Axie. Break down that wall. Mongo, we're coming to raid your base. Wait, what? What's going on? Mongo, our tank is destroying the wall so that we can see your building. Oh my gosh. Mongo, what in the world is this thing? Is this a tank or is this a poop tank? This is my tank, Wudo. And wait a second. Is this your tank over here? Yeah, it is. Hold on a second. Let me just destroy his tank just like that. <laughs> it was so easy to destroy because our tank is massive. Check it out, Mongo. I'm actually the one driving it with my name. And it's going straight for your tank. How in the world did you build this in only three minutes? Um, well, Mongo, you see, me and Axie have actually signed up for, uh, you know, building classes outside the recording. So, uh, yeah, that's how we do it. Right, Axie? Oh, yeah. I think Wudo also took some drawing lessons. Since when did Axie help you build, Wudo? So you're telling me you're cheating? Um, no, I'm not cheating. No, I know you're cheating, Wudo. Because if you're not cheating, tell me how big the tank is in terms of blocks. Um, it's, uh, pretty big in block size. Uh, okay, fine, Mongo. I'll show you that I was cheating. I actually drew the tank and used a drawing mod, and oh my gosh, is Mongo destroying my tank? This is what you get for cheating. Oh no. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then watch another video on screen, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.